Yeah. Hi, I'm Phil Poob, and now we're in HD! You can see the wrinkles on my face! Phil Poob, the science dude. Phil, 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 Phil Poob, the science dude. Bill, 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 I'm playing with the page tool. Bill, Pooh, the science dude. Brought to you by the new album sung by Serial Malkovich, Hard Rock. Featuring songs like... Boots will not Wow, would you look at this beach? It's made up of 100% genuine rocks. Phil Poop speaking. Um, yeah, uh, story time starts in 10 seconds. You better be there soon. Bye. I gotta get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was at the beach. Yachim. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three rock kingdoms. They shared wealth traded resources, and were generally optimistic. Ah, what a fine day in this beautiful village. Oh look, it's beautiful baby sediment. Go, go. Wait a second, I don't believe we've been properly introduced. I'm Cole. I'm the leader of Sedimentia, where sedimentary rocks prosper. Of course, we wouldn't prosper without the other kings, Granite and Slate. We are the best of friends who always help out each other. See, kitties, you may think everything is going great, but trust me, things will go bad. Okay, let's let the story continue. Far to the east, there was the Igneous Kingdom. Ignostica, where igneous rocks prosper. Of course, we wouldn't prosper without the other kings, Cole and Slate. We are the best of friends who always help each other. Ah, what a fine day in this beautiful... Are you kidding me? The writers are so lazy. They just copy-pasted the same line over and over again. Do they 
take us as fools? I'll go to court with this. Alright, so here's our lesson. What? I... I can't understand. Speak English! <laughs> Agenda. Arby's. Why can't we have some meat? <laughs> slate. Slate. There is a new property next to a volcano. And everybody wants it. But we need it the most. Now they are slowly being consumed by greed, needing the village for their people to thrive. But what I did guys do, Phil? Can I just read the friggin' story? Just listen. Ahem! Cause we got the new Snacky Snoo Extremes! Triple the flavor, quadruple the cholesterol! We gonna ship it to your house, and you're gonna get it! Wow! My Snacky Snoo Extremes are in! Hey, these don't have bad. Guys, I have something to tell you. Can't you see the senseless violence is tearing us apart? Take a look at this. According to this chart, I could turn into lava and slowly become a member of Agnostica if I wanted to, Cole. You could become me be simply undergoing excruciating heating and pressure over 100s of years. After weathering and eroding, granite would just have to go through compacting and cementing to become one of Cole's kind. Why would we fight over an extra village? What are we, five? 
we should share it. It was then said that they seemed to not care about the village anymore, and then they walked off dramatically into the sunset. The end. Let's see if anyone inhabited the village and give them a warm welcome. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. I'm Bonzi. What is your name? What the f- Oh, how is that for a story, huh? Yes! I now know what I must do. I must become P-Man. I am Phil, Prince of the Green Screen, Defender of the Secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Desmond, my idiotic friend. Uh, Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held you off my magic corndog and said... By the power of Grayskull! I have the power! Desmond became the wussy battle dude, and I became P-Man, the most powerful man in the five centimeter radius. Only three others share the secret. Our friends, the PS4, SpongeBob SquarePants, and Arthropithecus. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. P-Man and the Masters of Stupidity. It's just great being a villain and all. What? What was that? You will be defeated, Skeletor! You and what army, P-Man? <laughs> this one! What the frick are you all doing? Well, we're hungry, and if we order more than 10 fried chickens, we get a red velvet cake. We don't have time for product placement! Is this your pathetic army, Phil? Yep! Well then. Crap. Now that I have killed everyone on your pitiful team, I will destroy all of Hollywood by tsunami and earthquake. OMG, that reminds me! Earthquakes come from the f origin point, or the focus of the earthquake. No, not that one. They can come from volcano eruptions underground. The force that is caused by such eruptions shake up the ground enough to cause an earthquake. They're also caused by tectonic plates moving in such a way to cause an earthquake. Ah, oh, I'm sure Anyway, the sister of the earthquake is, is the tsunami. These are friggin' huge waves that are made by earthquakes that are underground. They are known to flood entire cities that cause absolute chaos. I'm sure it's fun, though. Speaking of tectonic plates, have you heard of tectonic plate theory? This is the theory that Earth's structure is made up of several tectonic plates. These plates are what cause underground tsunami earthquakes and earthquakes in general. Can't people see? I'm just trying to teach. Anyway, 
These plates do that by making different boundaries on Earth. These are like divergent boundaries, convergent boundaries, and transform boundaries. These boundaries cause holes in the Earth. That can lead to earthquakes, just by the fact that they shake up the ground that much. Now, this is only a theory, so it's not completely provable yet. That's why it's labeled as a theory, or a proposed hypothesis. It's just a theory. A geological formation theory. Thanks for watching. Now, let's talk about volcanoes. You've seen them, you know them, and you love them. Wow! But how do they affect us? More importantly, how do they affect Earth's surface? Oh, oh, that's, that's nothing. Anyway, they can affect the Earth in many, 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 Two hours later. Many, 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 many different ways. For starters, the lava might cool and add igneous rock all over the place, or even create a new layer of sediment. Of course, a giant mass of rocks creates a hole within it, where the lava is stored. So now there's just a hollow sphere out of the ground. What if that volcano just falls down? It'll spread lava and all its rocks all over the place. That's how it changes the Earth. While we're on the topic of geology, have you heard of geologic change over time? What? You're offended because I doubted your intelligence so much that I didn't think you could merely put two and two together? Whatever. But what evidence does it have to back it up? I'll tell you. It's the law of superposition. What's that? That's the law that as long as the Earth is undisturbed, the older a layer is, the deeper it will be. That means formations like Mount Everest are actually pretty young compared to the underground rocks in stones and caves. This proves geologic change over time, as rocks that are below used to be young little rocks on the surface. Radioactive dating supports it, too, as older rocks seem to be deeper in the ground. How can you tell how old rocks are? Easy. There are many forms of dating. You can guess based on their location, like relative dating. You can also date rocks using absolute dating. This uses radioactive isotopes that change with age. It is used for a more accurate reading. All this talk about geology makes me wonder, what about the layers? There are four layers of the Earth. They are the crust, mantle, and inner and outer core. They can be ordered by level of deepness. The crust is thin, the mantle is hot, and the core is orangey and, and stuff. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Let's talk about mountains, deltas, canyons, valleys, and volcanic islands. And how do they form exactly? That's a tectonic plate thing. Mountains form when they collide and push land upwards into the sky. Deltas are formed when sediments fall on rivers until rivers cannot push them anymore. These form what are called deltas, or river deltas. Canyons are formed by erosion. This is the breaking down of rocks due to natural occurrences. The original surface slowly erodes, making it a huge canyon. Perhaps the Grand Canyon? <laughs> Lastly, how are volcanic islands formed? They are formed when volcanic activity takes place underneath the island. These can cause tectonic plates to collide and create a volcano right on the island. Heck, tense the term, volcanic island. Oh, finally, I have one more thing to cover. I must now name examples of heating and convection. Imagine you're boiling some nice, delicious spaghetti. The heating is happening to the pot as the stove heats the pot in such a way that it boils the water where the convection takes place. The heat is transferred to the water, which is transferred to the pasta, making it nice and soft. And then you add some sauce to it, and oh, gosh, it's so delicious. Whew, that took a while. I'll check how the city's doing. Phil Pooba Science Dude Phil Pooba 
science dude. His name is Sylvester Stallone. He's the star of a new film called Rocky. He's been described as tough, handsome, talented, sexy, sensitive, dynamic, brilliant. He's been compared to Nicholson, De Niro, and Brando, but he is Rocky. He's the man who could be loved by only one woman because somehow she gets beneath the pain. He's every nobody who ever needed somebody. Rocky, do you believe that America is the land of opportunity? Yeah. I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. He's every man who ever settled for something less. What about my pride, Nick? At least you have pride. I ain't had no pride, I ain't enough. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Terrific. I mean, you could be a heartbreak. You walk down the street breaking hearts the way you look. Very shot. He's the man who never had a chance until now. Rocky. His whole life was a million to one shot. <laughs> His name is Sylvester Stallone, but you will always remember him as Rocky.